Hi again, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch, back along with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson. We're at the Imagination Station, and today dealing with sound and resonant frequencies. Exactly. And the power of sound. It's, it's, it's a cool one. It's the classic yeah. thing you do around the holidays, right? So you take a, a glass, like a wine glass especially, and if you wet your finger and rub it across yeah. the top, you get a really nice tone coming out of Very it as, cool. you, as you vibrate the sure. glass. What's really interesting is there's this myth that you could sing loud enough, a single pure note, that you could actually shatter a wine glass. Now, neither of us are probably that great I agree at, with at that. So at least we're, gonna, we're gonna step it up to a speaker driver here, okay? Okay. This is a, a high power speaker driver that we can pump like 300 watts of power into this PVC pipe right next to this glass. And we're using a really high tech tool here, which is the coffee mixer. This is all connected up to a signal generator. When we hit the right frequency, we should be able to see this little stir dance around. So we're gonna keep the power low, okay. try to sweep around, try to find the resonant frequency. Once it's dancing around a bit, and it's, it's really gonna start moving, then we're gonna put the earmuffs on and really crank up the power. See if we can actually shatter this wine glass using just sound. Wow, okay. all right, lead the way. So let's, we'll turn it up a little bit here, and then sweep a bit. See if we can get that really dancing. And each glass will have its own frequency. Each glass will have its own particular resonant frequency. Okay. So we're seeing some movement there. If we crank it up a little bit more. There it goes. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Time for the earmuffs. Okay. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Could not have worked better. Look at that. That is the power of oh, wow. sound waves and getting that glass to vibrate in such an extreme manner. And we actually filmed this on a high speed camera. We're going to look at that in high speed and see what was actually happening there to the glass itself. But you can see the top edge of the glass is just moving like it's plastic. All right. And eventually that oscillation builds up and builds up so great that the glass simply shatters. Amazing. So the power of sound waves and resonant frequencies. You hit that exact resonant frequency, you can pump a tremendous amount of power into there and actually shatter the glass. You can. And as you know, we, we put the ear protection on because it can do the same thing to your ears. It can, uh, can do Absolutely. some damage to your ears with loud sounds of any kind, really. Absolutely. Even okay. mowing the lawn, you should really wear hearing protection. Sure. And folks with their earbuds, you know, even it's, worse. Because uh, you're directing the sound right into the ear canal. Correct. So, so. But, right uh, but sound, you don't think about it unless it does damage like unless this. It does damage like that. Yeah. Look at that. that is amazing. That's nice. I love how the straw was dancing too for oh, yeah. a while. Yeah, awesome stuff. All right, for Carl Nelson and the power of sound, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch back, and that was Imagine It. And uh, speaking of earbuds, I'm wearing some right now, and uh, I don't know if I can still hear you correctly after that segment. <laughs> Mythbusters, the exhibition now extended. If you want to discover the madness behind the method, apply some scientific methods to uncover the truth behind those popular myths. Just go down to the Imagination Station. Uh, you can also find out when it's extended until. Um, and they are open today from 10 until 5. And just a reminder, on Saturdays, Lucas County children 12 and under get in free with a paid adult.